in this video we are going to calculate the WCC we have already calculated the required fields in our previous video and here you can see the outstanding share I'm just copy paste here from above okay so here is outstanding share Please put a equal sign here and just click that value okay share price put a equal sign and here is share price is equal here and net debt the cost sorry cost of equity value press equal sign here you can see the equity value okay and here you can see net debt is in thousand uh, we need to convert it to in million okay just simply it's just simple just put a dot before three digit okay that's it and so it's converted to million and tax rate just put a uh, equal sign and here is tax rate latest tax rate is this one and then market return and put equal sign market return we have calculated uh, our second assignment here click second assignment and here we have calculated this and click this value and press enter and cost of debt here I have missed one press equal and here is cost of debt latest one press enter and risk free rate press equal and risk free rate we have calculated second assignment here is the risk free rate press enter and we need to convert it to percentage value okay and expected market return it's it'll be also in percentage mode okay so and we have already calculated the beta the second and i'm just inputting or connecting value from second assignment okay it's simple if you want to connect this value uh, you just need to press equal sign and go to the second assignment and click this cell and press enter that's it it's easy and those are all of our requirements and we will calculate now WSSC based on Gordon per share dividend and on the first assignment we have calculated the cost of equity based on Gordon Monday we just link this value here just put a equal sign and go to the first assignment and here is the Gordon cost of equity and press enter is the value and now we need to put the WCC formula here and the WCC formula is equity value divided by equity plus uh, debt value and into cost of equity and plus debt value by equity value plus debt value and cost of debt 1 minus tax rate okay I'm going to just put this formula here press equal sign okay here is E divided by E plus here is D and sorry And put a bracket whole bracket here and into 
R E. Here is R E cost of equity and plus here is D divided by E plus D and sorry to put a whole bracket okay and into RD into one minus TC okay and press enter here is the WCC now we'll calculate the WCC based on classic CAPM model and we have already calculated the cost of equity ba uh, based on classic CAPM model on assignment 2 I'm going to just link this value from second assignment here is the cost of equity and press eh, this cell and press enter here is the cost of equity and I'm just copying this formula here for copy and put press escape button and press here this formula okay I just need to replace this cost of equity this one 52 because here cost of equity is this one and this cell is 57 and to put 57 here okay rest of the cell will remain same and press enter okay this one is this value now we need to calculate tax adjusted CAPM uh, cost of equity okay for that you need to put a formula here the formula is risk free rate into 1 minus tax rate plus beta into RM minus RF into one minus tax rate. And press enter to large and just make this value smaller decimal value now I'm just copy this formula again for convenience Press escape and paste here and just we need to change the equity cost of equity is number 62 here the cost equity to number 62 okay and rest of the value will remain same and press enter and 
here is your three WCC one is here and here is one and this one okay now now we need to calculate estimated WCC estimated CC for that simply we need to just do average of those three one comma this one comma this one and close this first bracket and press enter that is it this is our final result and we have successfully completed our goal thank you very much